Hello everyone. So we, the students of Indian Statistical Institute are organizing a workshop for the ISICMA entrance exam, which is going to be held this year uh, uh, in the year of 2022. And so we have made a, a course page on our website for uh, you to see. So uh, there we have given all the details about the workshop as well as we have also uh, given a free mock test for you to test yourself. And uh, so for the lecturers, uh, they're already present in this video and they're going to introduce themselves soon. So let's come down and uh, here you will be finding out the demo notes and the problems. Uh, uh, so the, uh, these have been very uh, prepared by the lecturers. And here you'll get to know how to enroll. So uh, the whole thing, has, uh, the 10 week uh, program has been divided into uh, level one and level two. So level one will be uh, for the first five weeks and level two will be for the next five weeks. Yeah, so we basically uh, held this workshop last year. Uh, uh, I mean, in 2021 and out of uh, 15 students, these five students got selected. And so for, uh, uh, that success, we also are trying to uh, organize the workshop this year and uh, the schedule has been given here in the uh, uh, in our course page and also we have uh, given so, uh, sample problems for you to try before joining uh, or before uh, the class uh, get started on 15th of Feb and uh, if you come down here. So we have uh, problems from every section that is algebra, geometry, number theory, combinatorics, calculus. And uh, so, yeah, now let's come to the lecturers and uh, let them introduce themselves. So, yeah, so uh, Diganto, can you start? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is, my, my, I am Diganto, I'm currently passing MSTAT second year. Uh, in Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. I have done my BSTAT from ISI Kolkata itself. Uh, I have been teaching for a few years now, and this uh, uh, me, Shotim, and uh, Shoham were there in the last workshop. So that had been a success. So we tried to do the same this year. So let's introduce the new members on this team. Shampreet, do you want to introduce yourself? Uh, hello everyone, I am Sampri Chakraborty. Uh, currently, I am a BSTET second year student at ISI Kolkata. And uh, I have passed my higher secondary from Ramakrishna Mission Vishra. So, I'm very much interested to teach you guys. Thank you. Orko. Hi everyone, I am Orko Sena. Uh, I'm currently a second year student at ISI Kolkata in the BSTAT program. And I shall be your instructor in this course. So looking forward to teach you guys. Uh, Shuprati, can you introduce yourself? Hi, I am Shuprati Boshu. I am currently studying in BSTAT third year at ISI Kolkata. And I will be teaching combinatorics in this workshop. So looking forward to teach you guys. Okay, thank you. So Shotim. Hello everyone, I'm Shoutim. I'm a student of BSET third year at Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. So I shall be teaching you algebra in this workshop. Uh, hope we can have a great learning experience together. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jyotish Parajodhuri. I am a third year undergraduate student pursuing Bachelor of Statistics Honors at the Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. So in this workshop, uh, I'm looking forward to teach uh, a few a few classes on uh, mostly calculus. And so I'm looking forward to uh, meet you guys, okay? So yeah. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Orchi De. So I'm in the final year of MSTAT course in Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata. And I've done my BSTAT from the same institute. And I'm very excited to jo join you in the classes and solve problems. Thank you. Shayok. Hello everyone. Uh, I am Shayok Chatterjee, an MSTAT second year student at ISI Kolkata. I also completed my BSTAT uh, from ISI Kolkata. 
and i'm looking forward to teach you guys uh, number theory along with diganto so hope you guys enjoy the course a lot so thank you okay thank you so yeah uh, everyone has introduced themselves so uh, now let's talk about the course in i say see my entrance mainly uh, cometrics and calculus these two are the two pillars of this syllabus so in calculus uh, you will cover initially we will begin with the sequence and series then uh, we will start continuity differentiability and integrability and in cometrics uh, we begin with uh, basic counting problems so we will see some techniques in counting problems like counting by indicators and like that then uh, we'll start recurrence we'll see some methods of solving recurrence then uh, we'll see uh, some problems on inclusion exclusion principle and lastly we see some problems on fission hole principle and then the topics come algebra in algebra uh, the first one is inequality like uh, shebi shebi inequality cauchy schwarz inequality some inequalities will will see some inequalities some of their proofs because those proofs are very much helpful in problem solving technique and then polynomials then complex numbers and then geometry complex numbers because in past year there are many ge geometry problems uh, which have uh, have some wonderful uh, ideas via complex numbers and uh, then uh, coordinate geometry and uh, i hope it, uh, the way we teach complex numbers you can easily tackle those 3d geometry problem with complex numbers and then uh, or continue with the geometry syllabus Yes, sir. So in uh, geometry, we'd be starting with concurrent lines, collinear points, and we'll go on to see some results about triangles and circles, and then we'll do some angle chasing. Okay. So yeah, and then we'll go on to coordinate geometry. In coordinate geometry, we'll see some very important formulas that are very important for ISI and CMI. Uh, many problems you will need to know those formulas before you can apply your thinking. Uh, we'll see some volume area of uh, some basic curves okay and coordinate bashing which is a very important topic in case you're stuck with some very hard problems coordinate bashing comes as a lifesaver and then we'll uh, see some uh, geometry of 3d objects okay so that's all for geometry we'll move on to number theory next in number theory we'll start with a very basic topic that's divisibility and factorization we'll go on to congruence and modular arithmetic uh, then we'll go on to number theoretic functions and we'll move on from there to very important theorems. Uh, those are formats, Euler's and Wilson's. And also we'll see the Chinese remainder theorem. Uh, then on we'll go on to Pell's equation, residue systems, and some basic Diophantine equations. So that, that's all. Okay, thank you. Uh, or, so uh, the uh, format of ISA, uh, exam is basically uh, uh, you have two parts one is uga which is the objective part and you have 30 questions there and uh, the ugb part which has uh, usually eight subjective questions so uh, we are basically keeping uh, five uh, full length mock tests uh, which will consist of five uga and five ugb uh, papers and uh, so uh, they are going to help you in uh, both uh, objective and subjective questions and not only that as we are going to cover each topic we will be uh, focusing both on the objective as well as the subjective questions also we will be uh, keeping doubt clearing sessions where we will be also discussing uh, object we will be focusing on the objective questions and uh, how to write proofs for the subjective questions yeah, so uh, let's see uh, to what extent we will be uh, or what are the subtopics that we are going to discuss in each of these topics like algebra, number theory, combinatorics, uh, calculus. So uh, if you go to our course page, so if you scroll down below, so you'll be able to see here after the problem section that uh, we have given a map of every uh, topic like what are the main things that we are going to deal with so in geometry you can very well see that uh, as just orko sinha uh, told that we are going to see concurrent lines uh, collinear points triangle circles angle chasing and uh, also coordinate geometry uh, coordinate bashing 
and uh, area volume calculations because uh, last year there was one problem related to that in the subjective and um, and uh, yeah all the formulas at a glance and also uh, the 3d uh, geometry so in number theory as you can see we will be basically starting with this uh, divisibility and factorization congruence and modular arithmetic which is very important and uh, uh, then there are number theory functions and uh, now uh, coming to the some of the very important theorems which are formats eulers wilsons and chinese remainder theorem which will be needing to calculate uh, all those uh, remainders or uh, the main uh, number theoretic problems where uh, you need to calculate remainders or sh uh, uh, show some divisibility uh, things. And uh, then we will be uh, going to Pell's equation, residue systems and uh, basic Diophantine equations. Okay, uh, so coming to algebra, we have uh, polynomials, uh, where we will be going to see all the main uh, properties of the polynomials and also uh, special properties of the uh, polynomials with integer coefficients. Then coming to complex numbers, we will not only learn about them, but also the geometry behind them. And we will have inequalities and uh, the trigonometric identities. And then calculus, which basically consists of 30% uh, of the paper with uh, and uh, in that we will be starting with sequence and series and uh, then we'll go to limits of functions continuity differentiability and integrability and uh, not only that so we'll be also covering these topics based on real analysis so we'll be uh, introducing you real analysis because uh, the high school calculus is not enough to crack uh, this ISI and CMI exams. So uh, we'll be also focusing uh, on real analysis, the parts which you will be needing. And now coming to uh, combinatrix. So which is basically uh, uh, that uh, we can, we'll be starting with counting problems. And uh, then uh, the first thing that comes is permutations and combinations. And then uh, the various ways of counting and generating functions through which you can um, uh, solve various kinds of uh, combinatorial problems. And uh, now uh, then the invariance principle and uh, then some problems which can't be solved using uh, the normal uh, combinatorial ways, which can be solved using recurrence relations. So we are going to uh, see those. And then uh, the pigeonhole principle, which is very important uh, because the principle is very easy, but the problems are very hard to solve. And then we'll also see some coloring proofs and uh, then ramps and numbers. And yeah, so that's uh, all for uh, the topics that we are going to cover. So now let's hear from the uh, lecturers uh, who are going to teach which topic. So let's start with Diganto. Yes. Hello. I'll be taking number theory along with Chayok this time. And uh, we'll be also doing some problem solving sessions on number theory as well as combinatorics, X calculus and maybe geometry. Last time what we did was uh, we introduced some basic uh, divisibility theorems and then number theoretic functions. And then we moved on to the theorems like the Euler's theorem, Fermat's theorem, Wilson's theorem, and then the Chinese remainder theorem. And at last, if we have time, we will move on to some advanced topics like the authentic equations, Pell's equations, stuff like that. And Shayok, do you want to add something? Uh, no, I guess that's all. That's the plan for the number theory course. Okay. Hope you will like it. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Digon and Shayok. Yeah. Let's hear from. So, so I'll be teaching calculus along with uh, Jyotish Koda. And uh, I'll be teaching combinatorics along with uh, Shukratikda. So we'll follow the structure as uh, Orkuda shown in the website. So, and also I will, I'll take some problem solving class. So that's all. Okay, yeah. Orko? Uh, I along with uh, Shautimda will be teaching the algebra portion. We will do some problems along with that. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, Jodishka, would you like to add something? Uh, 
you know, I mean, uh, I don't think I need to add anything else. Uh, uh, so uh, Shamfit and I uh, will be covering this uh, calculus. So this calculus is this calculus portion is mainly so can be sub subdivided into these three parts. Those are sequence series, uh, differentiation, and integration. So uh, yeah. So I mean, uh, I don't have anything else to add actually. No. That's all. Okay. Thank you, Jyotish. So yeah, so, uh, Shodim, would you like to add something? Yes, uh, I would like to add something to what Orpo said. So yes, we will be doing conventional topics like polynomials, inequalities, and complex numbers in algebra. But I would also like to add that we'll be focusing on lesser dealt with topics like complex numbers in geometry. Uh, that can be tackled, uh, I mean, several beautiful, beautiful and elegant problems of geometry can be tackled by using complex numbers. So that kind of areas we will be laying some emphasis on uh, during the course. We'll see, we'll see, we'll be very exciting. Okay, thank you. Okay. Orchid, would you like to add something? Yeah, so I will be uh, teaching the geometry part as you had previously shown in that uh, graph and I'll be doing it with Anirvanda. Um, so yeah, that's all. And I will be including a lot of problem solving to not make it monotonous and make sure that with examples and problems, the ideas really go through the students. So I'm really excited for that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Shupratik? Yeah, so... Uh, we will be covering the basic counting principles, the pigeonhole principle, the recurrence relations, invariance, uh, some coloring proofs, and a bit of Ramsey theory in combinatorics. Okay. Okay. So thank you all. So um, uh, there will be a total of 30 lectures, and each lecture will be uh, two hours. And uh, we will be mainly uh, focusing on. Uh, these topics and also uh, the doubt clearing sessions uh, and the sessions will be uh, mainly focusing on problem solving and uh, we will also have uh, these mock tests and uh, for the UGA section you'll be uh, having the answer keys and the answers after you give the exam and for the UGB we'll be checking your papers and we'll be discussing with you where you went wrong and how you can improve uh, your proof writing so this is all we have um, for you in our workshop so i hope you like it so thank you for watching see you in our workshop and yeah bye see you next time